So I want to show you a special kind of drum sound, a softer one that we did before. And you can check out how that one is made. But this one is made on a toot. And usually toots are not used for drumming, but sometimes they are. And they can be very beautiful for that because they make this kind of ringy, maybe a little bit like some kind of tabla sound. And that can go very beautifully as an accompaniment to some other uh, musician who is singing or doing something else. Anyway, the toot is just this higher vibration of lips as opposed to drone. So we are going to do like a ta and that will be this ta, this is this like ta, 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 okay, on the toot. And you will let it fade. You will let it fade out. You will let it uh, like have its diminishing tail. And that's it. You just need to get that quality of this ta, ta, okay? Rather than okay? It has to be ta, 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 ta. You don't do this so much that you get this But it's a little bit on that side. But it's, it helps you to like pre-compress air in the mouth a little bit, gently, that you get an attack, which is very important for that drumminess. You can use that as two or as three. It can be like tawa or it can be like tawate or tawaka, it doesn't matter, but more, maybe more like tawete or tawawa. You don't actually say that, but it's that one to three in terms of language of syllables, right? So if it's two, two, three. When I'm using this um, soft toot drum sound, I usually use it on a three. And I give you a very nice rhythm to practice that. It will consist of three parts. One part will be tawe te tawe te tawe. Okay. But actually you will do it tawe te tawe te ta. So it's a ta with a break or the long ta. Its duration is two. And that ta you will do as a relaxation here. So you will open your, your lips. And the tawate will be um, the soft tooth uh, drum, okay? I usually breathe on the second part of that, of, of that drum sound. If it's like three parts, tawete, I breathe, breathe on we. Okay. So this will be one part of the rhythm. The second, you will move the two in the middle. So it will be tawete, ta, tawete, tawete, ta, tawete, tawete, ta, tawete. The third part, you might guess, it is a ta in the beginning. Once you play them, they all sound the same because, you know, it just mixes up where is the first beat. But once you play them together, it makes more sense. So now ta is at the beginning. Make those blocks like easy for you to access, that you don't have to think about them, that they are automatic. And then combine two of those and then eventually combine all three of those. It might be 
a little bit difficult in the beginning, but actually with this kind of mind rewiring, it goes very quickly. Um, so this is the end result. It is not very complex and it doesn't hold a lot of information. So I would recommend this kind of playing more as a, an accompaniment, but you can probably include it also in a solo didgeridoo song. It depends on what you do with it. But this I have found is like, uh, even when you're doubling the, um, the channels of the didgeridoo, this can be like a very nice sonic support, you know, percussive and usually you put it with a little bit of reverb and you push it a little bit backwards and it can be very very sweet keep spiraling out and keep maniacally subscribing to my channel if you like this exercise you can like the video but even more you can come to masterclass this year where we'll do many exercises like this but in way greater detail also what i'm curious is if you found this to be a beginner intermediate or advanced level i have my feeling about it but it can be wrong as it often is so please leave it in the comments below uh, thank you so much spiral out and keep digging